Hey Libra, how's it going? I'm Kat and I'm going to do your reading for February 2024. This is an overall general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, I'm kind of looking at a squirrel. Some of you guys could want to look up the, uh, the uh, spiritual meaning of the squirrel. Because, I don't know, he's just been sitting on this branch and going back and forth. They're just, to me, they're interesting to watch. <laughs> but says, yeah, I'm starting a reading and the squirrel pops up. So definitely, you know, take a look at that. So yeah, Libra, this is a, um, overall general message for you guys. Okay. It could be about love. It could be about anything, whatever I get, I will let you know. And, um, yeah, we'll just go from there. Um, I am an intuitive reader. I'm a channeler and that's just what I do. So, um, I guess what I'm trying to say is you can't really, I, I use the cards as a tool. It's definitely a tool, okay? Validation, clarity, things like that. It keeps me going. I'm very ADHD. It keeps me on track. A lot of times you'll hear me um, get out of breath because I'm trying to get out what it is I'm getting as fast as I can so I don't lose it, <laughs> all right? So Libra, let's see. What do we have, Holy Spirit? Archangels, angel guides, ancestors of the highest white light. What do we have for Libra? February 2024, what do we have for Libra? So you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Getting that, okay. I'm also getting um, the word grief. So words, um, words are very significant to me, okay? Um, so, you will hear me um, focus in on a word, and that normally is like the message or, or the theme there of the mes message. So, um, so I'm getting grief. Or you could be dealing with someone that is going through some sort of um, tough situation, tough cycle, um, things like that. They, they could be grieving, right? Um, and um, I'm hearing just show up. I'm hearing just show up, Libra. That's all you have to do um, for this individual or even for yourself, right? Sometimes we just have to show up for ourselves. Um, I'm also getting that there is some kind of chemistry here between you and another and, uh, you know, like uh, a spark. Um, sparks flying <laughs> um, when it comes to like yeah you and, and, and another um, being on the same page um, this could be a kindred spirit this could be a friend a family member something like that but I'm getting more in like love I'm getting more like a, a like a love here um, a lot of chemistry with someone I'm also getting that you're going to be rewarded um, somehow um, in your career, in your job, in your success, there is, you know, you're going to get the accolades that you deserve. You're going to get the recognition that you deserve. Any efforts that you've put in, you're going to get rewarded for that. That's what Spirit is saying. All right, so let's move. Let's see. Libra, what do we have for Libra? A white truck could be significant as well. A white truck. Take what resonates, leave the rest. <laughs> All right. What doesn't make sense to me could most definitely make sense to you. Yeah, I'm seeing sparks fly here. Chemistry, Ace of Cups here. New love, renewed love. What else? All right. Last from the past is what I'm hearing, but not necessarily just in all, because I'm, I'm talking to a lot of different Libras out here. So someone's feeling very nostalgic about you. All right, someone from your past could be going through something again, like whenever I was picking up the energy of grief, okay? Or someone, you know, from your past is having past memories of you or you or them, um, but it's very nostalgic. It's, it's happy memories, it's good memories. This is someone that you could have been on a break from, okay? 
or has you know some time has went went by and maybe you haven't spoke to this person or what have you or it just could be someone coming into your life after a time of like stagnation that you feel a kindred um, soul tie to um, this could also represent a soulmate, right? Or someone that you've known from a past life. It's like when you meet this person, it's like you've known this person your whole life. Okay? So in the past, you had the Ace of Cups. So this is a new or renewed beginning when it comes to love. This is like my cup is running over. It's running over with emotions, with love, with um, caring, with, you know, you know. Just all these emotions, these good, gushy emotions, right? You got the heart right here. Your heart was open to something or someone. In the present moment, though, you have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, your energy with the Three of Swords. So in the present moment, there could be something here that is heartbreaking to you, but I'm also getting a, another individual. I'm getting another energy here that could possibly be going through some sort of heartbreak as well. Um, because to me, this is grief. This is grief. This is sadness. This is deep sadness. Have you ever felt this? I have, you know. This is deep sadness in the present moment. So whoever's going through this, my condolences to you, whatever the case may be, this energy I know is no fun. But you're trying to make a head over heart decision when it comes to this heartache, this pain. Okay. Going on into the future, though, we do have the Three of Cups. So this is like reuniting. This is coming together possibly with someone from your past or just coming together or meeting like someone within your friend group, okay? Uh, kindred spirits even, you know, so, like I said, chemistry here. There's people on the same page. They're, you know, going out, having a good time, having fun. It could be a reconciliation, you know, um, just good support overall all right but we're going to clarify let's see what was this ace of cups for libra in the past what's this ace of cups in the past the nine of cups so yeah whatever this new beginning was it's going to be different from for everyone for every libra but it brought you a lot of happiness. Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. It's, you know, being good on your own, though. You know? I feel like... Okay, Libra. I feel like... Something here has been weighing heavily or was weighing heavily on your heart space um and it did it it does have something to do with a soulmate connection someone that you viewed as possibly a twin flame but definitely a soulmate connection you had a good tie or a strong tie with this individual and i am getting someone from the past right um because we had the six of cups showing up again so let me just show you so i'm seeing a lot of burdens right uh, carrying a lot of stuff on your plate you know trying to get through trying to trying to push through um, and you know trying to have optimism here um, be playful even youthful and when it comes to like this love connection I do feel like this is love with someone from you know either your past or the, slow down from your past or someone that you've known in a past life but this brought you great um, joy and happiness here. And if this was like a project or something that you set out to do or whatever, it brought you like emotional satisfaction here. You're very satisfied in whatever this was in the past. And it, it may have took you pushing through and 
carrying a lot on you, right, to even get to this or to, yeah, to, to keep this, to get your wish fulfillment here. So it wasn't easy. This, this new beginning or renewed um, happiness, what have you, within yourself or with another, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. It wasn't without working, that's for sure. All right, so in the present moment, the King of Swords and the Three of Swords, what is this? Yeah, look, definitely this Six of Cups, man. I'm telling you, someone is feeling so nostalgic about you. Or you are them. And then you have the Nine of Pentacles. So this is someone. How are you going to know who this person is, Libra? This is someone that is good on their own. Okay? They're a self-made individual. And what I mean by that is like nothing came easy for this person. But they are abundant within themselves. Okay? They are secure. They are stable within themselves. Um, yeah, like they can sit on that chair and drink a glass of wine if they want to and be happy within that. Okay? This, this is someone from your past. And there's great sadness here. When it comes to the past, this person could reach out to you and want to apologize or you could want to reach out to this individual and apologize, take it how it resonates. Um, or express some kind of emotion, but yeah, you're not decide. You haven't decided yet, or they haven't decided. Yeah, no, no one's moving here. No one's moving here. It's like stuck energy. It's basically just stuck energy. Um, I do see you trying to make a head over heart decision, because this is something that brought you happiness, or this is someone that brought you happiness. Let's get one more. So this person could be trying to come in to express some kind of love to you or emotion or just ask how you're doing even. Um, or if you want to just chill, maybe have a glass of wine. I don't know. But I know they have great memories with you, strong feelings for you. Um, this is someone you have memories with, yeah. The Wheel of Fortune, yeah, and timing. It's timing. And then the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So this is someone that you absolutely have emotion for. You have passion for. Um, you want this new beginning. Oh my goodness. And with the Ace of Swords. Holy crap. Yes. Libra. There could be someone new. I'm just throwing this out here. Someone new coming into your life. Okay. That you feel like you um, are just meant to be with. There is a soulmate connection here. If this is someone from the past, it has something to do with timing. But it's going to be like there's passion here. There's truth here. Someone wants to speak the truth to you. But I'm getting more so, Libra, this is you wanting to speak the truth to someone else. Because this is your energy. Okay. So we have air and fire here. Yeah, this is someone that you're very passionate about and you want to communicate this person you want to communicate this with this individual um this is something that could have been going on in, in your mind over and over again the will of fortune is kind of like you know the divine coming in and uh kind of leading the way here Yeah, you're holding back, or someone's holding back. You're, you're definitely keeping tabs on someone, Libra, or someone's keeping tabs on you. Uh, social media, it could be um, through friends, co-workers, things like that. You're definitely holding back, and, and it's something to do with timing here, the right timing, the right time. This is someone that you have, you know, memories with, good memories with. You see them as abundant. You see them as... You know, um, very stable, grounded, beautiful. But there was a separation. There was a heartbreak here. It could be third party. I'm just going to throw that out there. But, you know, it could, third party could be anything. But it could be another individual that got in the way of this. 
connection or this new beginning. But now you're in the energy of, you know, logic here. What makes sense here? And you're also in the energy of past, looking back at your past, reminiscing about an individual or someone is doing this with you. Could be both. I don't know. But you're holding back and you're waiting for the right time. Or you're waiting for the divine to show you. So going into the future, you have the Three of Cups. What is this? What is the Three of Cups? Again, yeah, there could be three, three. There could have been someone else. Um, if not that, then something just was, you know, getting in the way of the connection. It really could be anything. So going into the future, you have fast communication here. Someone wanting to come in um, and express some kind of truth to you. Could be um, about a friend group. It could be about a third party. It could be um, just speaking the truth, right? This is just rushing in. It could come out of nowhere, um, but just direct. Um, sometimes it can even be harsh after a time of separation. It's just direct and truthful. Okay, it's like I'm cutting through the, the BS here. I want to be truthful. Um, it, it could even be about a reconciliation with someone. Let's see, what is this Knight of Swords? The High Priestess. Using your intuition here. Pisces energy. Mm, and the Devil at the bottom of the deck. Capricorn. So you're using your intuition. Or you're dealing with someone, or this is you, with someone that is very intuitive and you know that they are. Okay? This could even be someone that, you know, has a crystal ball here, reads cards, or, you know, you know. Um, this person could be speaking some sort of truth to you, or you're going to speak some kind of truth to them. I'm really getting Libra. This is you speaking some kind of truth to this person. And it could be in, in regards to um, why there was a rejection here or why um, something here was so burdensome, right? Um, but I feel like, Libra, you took this time out to reflect and to uh, really... Figure out what it is that you want, right? Um, a lot of uh, analyzing um, about the past, about the past. And moving forward, you're just going to speak your truth on that. Yeah, someone here possibly could have been rejected um, or wasn't really listening to their intuition when it came to a commitment. You have the Hierophant here, Major Arcana for Taurus. And the Six of Pentacles, about an equal give and take, about reciprocity. You know, um, this is someone that you find very attractive, someone that, you know, very alluring. Yeah, there was an ending. You're, you're wanting to, or this person, let's get a skip four cups here. Spirit's giving me a lot. A lot. I do feel like there's two people here that have insane chemistry. I mean, we have the Six of Cups out here twice. So many energy. Um, like I said, insane chemistry. Yeah, look. In the future, there it is, baby. There it is. Ace of Cups. You have the Ace of Cups out here twice. You have it in the past, and now you have it again moving forward. Yeah, there's going to be a message coming in. Someone's going to want to renew or start over, or this could be someone new. Um, but I'm not really feeling that. And once this is going to come in fast, this new beginning is going to come in really fast. But this is going to put you in your feels, Libra. This is going to make you, you know, have some sleepless nights here, thinking, uh, wondering, not really sure, that kind of thing, just over uh, thinking overthinking especially at night whenever you know things are kind of quieting down and um, there's not a lot of movement you will find yourself thinking about this new beginning when it comes to love and your emotions for someone or this is someone doing this in regards to you but the eight of wands is fast 
this fast movement, fast communication, and it is going to be in regards to starting over or just starting at all when it comes to something that you're very emotional, when it comes to someone that you're very, it could be something too, that you're very emotional about. There is communication, definitely communication coming in. Um, you're using your intuition though when it comes to this. I think there is a fear here of rejection when it comes to this new start. There is a fear of rejection. Or this person is, re is uh, fearing being rejected by you. Yeah, because I feel like you want this new beginning. Look at this, Libra. Look at this. You want this new, right? Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. Then you have the Knight of Pentacles with the Nine of Swords. So like I said, some sleepless nights here. It could be about some time that has passed because, you know, the Knight of Pentacles, they're not very fast. Actually, they're not fast at all. Um, they're stable, slow and steady wins the race is kind of like their motto, but it's very, just not fast energy. It's nothing like the Knight of Wands here. So sometimes, some time could have passed and there's this fear here of rejection. But I don't think this is going to stop this individual. I really don't. I think, um, or this is, I don't think this is going to stop you. Something to do here with time, though. Yeah, and then you have the Seven of Pentacles, too. It's also time. Um, you've put, you've invested in someone or something. Yeah, there you are, Libra. And then you have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're wanting to make something fair. You find someone very attractive, very alluring, very mystical, very, um, you know, a go-getter, a leader. Um... And after some time, after waiting, I see you're wanting to um, either apologize or someone's wanting to apologize to you or they want to set something straight. They want to set something right. You know, they want to do the right thing. They want to balance these scales. Okay? They want to balance the scales. And there definitely could have been a third party because I'm just looking. I'm drawn to these cats. And it looks like they're fighting. You know, she's sitting in the chair. You know, male or female, it doesn't matter. Um, but you have, you know, these two cats. And it looks like they're fighting. Um, and then, of course, you know, you have the black and you have the white cat. It reminds me of, like, the, the angel and the devil on your shoulders or what have you. But, yeah, some time has definitely... You've definitely put some um, investment in, into a situation, though. Um, or you want to. You definitely want to. Yeah, you're definitely going to reach out or someone's going to definitely reach out to you and they're going to give you some kind of truth and clarity about starting over um, starting over and um, seeing where things can go, like reconciling. I'm getting a very big past energy. I mean, if you guys were looking for new love, this could be new love. And I can tell you there will be a lot of chemistry and a lot of passion if it is new love. But if this is someone from your past, which I strongly feel like it is, and it's someone that you've had some time away from, um, there's a lot of nostalgia and there's a lot of wanting to communicate, make things right. Um, like I said, set the skills, make things right, and discuss how you guys can start over um, with, with emotions, with passion, with love, with, um, you know, with truth. So I love that. Libra. Um, I wish you all the best and I will see you next time.